Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here. My name is Didin and I post on the little things in life that I like. If you could please take a second to like, subscribe and comment to my channel, I will greatly appreciate it. Uh, in today's video, I will be unboxing uh, one little pack that I purchased. It's not little, but a little purchase, a small purchase. <laughs> So I purchased this bag from Saint Laurent. No, it's this Saint Laurent bag from Selfridges. <laughs> so Selfridges, as you, you guys probably know, but Selfridges is one of the um, department store in the UK. So I decided to buy it from there because their prices still reflect, when it comes to Saint Laurent at least, the prices still reflect the price before our last price increase. Does that make any sense? But yeah. So, because this purchase, this bag, I bought it and comparing to the current price in the Saint Laurent website, it's like about two, three hundred difference. Here it is. As you can probably can tell, it's a tote. Me with tote. I love totes. Like, <laughs> but this is a bag. And if you see me wearing the same thing that you'll see on the last video, that's because I'm recording both videos on the same thing. <laughs> so, can I open her up? All right. So this one, I must say, wasn't. Not an impulse purchase, but it was like, ooh, I need this. Because <laughs> I was browsing on suffrages, and then I saw this, and then it says that um, this one was the last three remaining ones. There was only three left. And then there was another color that it says was only one left. So I was looking at the other color, which was like a gray, because I don't have any gray bag. I have silver, but no gray. But I'm like, hmm. Let me go with this color instead. So it wasn't an impulse per se, but the fact that they say it was only three left <laughs> pushes me <laughs> to get it quicker. So yeah, but I've been watching this for a while. I just never pulled the plug. So, and I saw it, I saw the first I'm like, I need this in my life. You know how it goes. You know the deal. So, uh, Let's open it and then we'll see what is inside. Ugh. It is. <laughs> so this is the YSL. Oh my gosh, how can I forget the name? Um, let me see. I think it's called uh, Black Logo Lodge. This one just says Black Logo Print Lodge Leather Tote. Is it the? That's funny. I know the name because I've been looking at it forever. I'll put the name on the screen, but it has a name. <laughs> So this is the toad. Let's get rid of this thing. So this is the suffrages uh, tag. So this was the price in UK, is it you? <laughs> but translating to US dollars, uh, since our money is now dollar for dollar, uh, $8.95. Oh, it's 65 so mm, not too bad. So, this is her. Let's get rid of this thing. And I've been looking, since I received I've been looking for an insert for it. So, I'm gonna use, not use, I'm gonna borrow the insert for my, one of my LV Neverfuls to see if it fits. I think it should be about the same size so that way I could see which one to get. But probably gonna get one from Amazon or something like that. So this tote here. Ooh, 
it is very understated that's why I, i've that's why i was looking at it for work purposes purposes uh it's a very understated designer bag because it doesn't it just have the wires uh, on the leathering in gold and it has this little gold hardware if you want to go just pull it down and cover it so that way when you wear it your arms cover this one if you don't want to show any branding but oh my god it has a pouch is it detachable it is detachable because it has looks like this um, you just snap it so it is very comparable in size to the Louis Vuitton number four yeah very compar uh, comparable in size to the number four so the insert will for sure fit so I might get the same one but I have I'm probably gonna get a black insert of course so on the inside the pouch there's no pockets it's just a big black hole <laughs> it does have a tag here on the side this side here that serves backwards uh da -da -da -da, pari, made in italy so that's the only thing that's on the inside the tag i said where it's made in the name of the brand but nothing else as far as the leather it is smooth leather so i'm checking to see if there's anything on it before i pull the tag because you hear horror story about defective designer bags which to me it's not acceptable because the bags are not cheap at all so they need to <laughs> of the games on the pouch uh, what is this authentic oh authenticity card so this one could fit because it's pretty flat in size probably like card case not a not a wallet but card case so this is her oh my gosh I love no purse smell <laughs> There it is right here. Oh, keep going. So yeah, I was looking uh, between this one and the gray. It was not a silver, but uh, not dark gray, but like a light gray. And I, cause I've been, I've always wanted a different color. Cause they had this and a green. Oh my gosh, I love the green, but they discontinued with the green. They don't make the green anymore. And then I was looking at the gray. And I'm like, hmm, do I want a gray tote? <laughs> ah, but I decided with the black. I went back to check to see if the gray was still available. It's not. <laughs> it's already sold out. So, oh my, I love it. I love it. Where is this? It has a little white thing. What is this? Oh, it's coming out, so probably from the box. Cause oh wait, it was from the box. Cause when you purchase from department stores, like even in the U.S., from when I buy from Saks, Bloomingdale's, you don't get the box from the brand. You get, you just get the dust bags. That's it. Which honestly, I don't mind. So what am I gonna do with all the boxes? You know, just just gonna throw them away eventually. So. Oh my gosh, I like it. I like the fact it's still it's um, minimal, so I could wear it to work. It's definitely gonna be a work bag. And I don't see any damages, defects. It's for these things, I think from the, what you call it? The dust bag. Cause when I kind of, not scratch, but when I see they're coming off easily with my nails, so it's nothing. Probably from the dust bag, I'm not sure like a little white spotting so yeah it is definitely a keeper glad to add this to my collection and have to make space for it but yeah yeah i'm gonna have to look for the name because i know the name i don't know for some reason right now when i need the name 
I cannot, I cannot find the name. <laughs> but this was the unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please don't forget to like, subscribe. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Comment below. What do you think of this new purchase of mine? Alright you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.